Have you ever looked at the little box in your home that says Wi-Fi and wondered what's happening inside it? Today, we're doing something a bit different. We're cracking open a Wi-Fi router and following the full path of the internet from the outside world, through the device, and into your phone, laptop, or smart TV. By the end of this video, you'll not only know what the router looks like inside, but how it works. So let's dive in. Your internet connection might feel magical when you hit play and instantly start streaming. But the truth is there's a complex journey happening behind the scenes. A device called a router sits between your modem and all your devices, dispatching, routing, and sometimes securing every packet of data. If your Wi-Fi is slow or you're unable to connect devices, understanding this journey gives you real power and maybe even some DIY improvement ideas. First, a quick clarification. Many people use modem and router interchangeably, but they're not the same. A modem brings an internet service into your home from your internet service provider, ISP. A router takes that service and distributes it to many devices via wired ethernet and wireless Wi-Fi. In this video, we'll focus on the router part, what it physically is, how it routes, and how the signal becomes wireless. So how does the connection actually arrive at your home? It could be fiber optic, cable, DSL, fixed wireless, or even satellite. That signal enters a modem, or combined modem router box, gets converted into ethernet frames, and then goes into the router. From the router's WAN port, the world of your devices begins. Let's look at the physical device now. Here's our router. We've unscrewed the screws, removed the outer shell, and here's what we find. The circuit board, one or more antennas, heat dissipating parts, the WAN port for the incoming internet, LAN ports for wired connections, and the radio transceiver circuitry. As we examine each part, ask yourself, why is this here? What does it actually do? We can see the main processor often a low power ARM or MIPS chip and memory chips, flash storage for firmware, the ethernet switch chip, and RF modules for the Wi-Fi bands. All of these components work together to route, switch, and transmit. Let's trace the path of data. 1. Incoming signal from modem enters the router's WAN interface. 2. The router firmware assigns your device a private IP address via DHCP and maintains a routing table that knows how to forward packets. 3. When you click a link or stream a video, packets leave your device, go into the router, and the router decides, is this destined inside my local network or outside to the internet? If outside, it forwards to the modem ISP. If inside, it uses the internal switch or Wi-Fi. 4. For wireless, the router uses the RF modules and antennas to convert the digital data into radio waves, e.g. 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz bands, and sends them to your device. Conversely, when your device sends data, the router receives radio waves, converts back to digital, and forwards accordingly. 5. All the while, it's performing NAT, Network Address Translation, so multiple devices can share a single public internet address and often provide firewall basic security functions. Now you might ask, why is my Wi-Fi slower than my wired connection? Good question. Wired Ethernet ports on the router connect your device directly to the switch inside the router minimal interference, maximum speed. Wireless connections face radio interference, signal attenuation, and shared bandwidth. Also, if too many devices are using the router's Wi-Fi, the internal router versus switching plus RF modules may become bottlenecks. That's one reason why investing in a better router can help if you have many streaming or gaming devices. Your router does more than just pass packets. It acts as a gatekeeper and traffic director. It looks at each packet, reads the header information, consults its routing table, and decides where the packet goes next. It can shape traffic, block devices, enforce parental controls, create guest networks. From a security standpoint, every data bit on your network passes through it, meaning firmware security, default passwords, and router placement matter. Many routers are targeted in home network attacks because they're the weak link if left unprotected. Let's run a scenario. 
You're on your laptop watching a YouTube video. What happens step by step? And your laptop sends a request to YouTube's server. This request heads to your router's LAN interface, gets NAT translated, forwarded out the WAN port to your ISP, then the internet backbone, then the YouTube server responds. And the response arrives back at your modem, then your router checks routing table, matches NAT session, forwards to your laptop's private IP via Wi-Fi radio. In the router physical world, that means the incoming Ethernet frame hits the Ethernet switch chip, goes through the processor, maybe memory lookups, then gets sent via the RF module's digital to analog conversion, amplified through antenna, wireless propagation, then your laptop picks up and decodes. Now repeat that for dozens of devices, multiple streams. You see why router hardware matters. Now that you've seen inside one, here are some practical takeaways you can use. Check your router's firmware updated. Outdated firmware equals security risk. Placement matters. Central in home, elevated, few obstructions, away from metal, large electronics. And consider wired connections for bandwidth heavy devices, gaming, streaming, to ease the load on wireless. If you have many devices and streaming gaming, invest in a router with a strong CPU, multiple antennas and latest Wi-Fi standard, Wi-Fi 6, 6E. Check for congested Wi-Fi channels, avoid interference from neighboring networks, microwave ovens. These tips will help you get the most out of the journey the internet takes through your router. Let's recap what we've covered. We started outside your home connection, came through the modem, into your router. And we tore open a router, identified its major components. And we traced data flow, wired and amp, wireless, how routing works, how your device gets its internet. We touched on performance, security, and real-world optimization. In the next video, we'll dive into tearing down a mesh Wi-Fi system and compare it with a single router solution. Stay tuned. If you found value in this deep dive, please hit like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone who says, I just plug in the Wi-Fi box and I don't care what's inside. Let's help more people understand the tech behind their everyday connection. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next teardown.